Okay, welcome back. And just as we come over this edge, we see Life Pod 3 here sitting in the uh, the shallows of around about 13 meters. So before we go in and actually explore here, we're just going to poke our head, head up. The main thing is what do we have around Life Pod 3? <music> Hey, g'day and welcome back to another episode of uh, Subnautica. Um, in this episode, as you can see, the aura is uh, still up and running, but uh, we've been given a two hour warning uh, before critical mass, so we just need to be careful where we're actually swimming. We also just received a, uh, a radio message in the last episode for Life Pod 3. Um, so in this episode, we're actually going to go over and uh, have a look at uh, Life Pod 3 and we're going to wait for the critical mass of uh, the aura itself. So uh, yes, let's give it a go. Don't forget to hit the, the likes and the subscribes and, and also keep, the, keep up with the, the comments. As I said, it's going to guide this um, uh, tutorial or this, this series of Subnautica as we go into the depth. So if you're missing anything or you're struggling to find anything, throw it in the comments and I'm more than happy to do a separate video and into it. All right, so with our uh, building itself, we've got ourselves, let's actually have a look, we've got ourselves a sea glide, we've got ourselves a high capacity tank plus a spare tank. Um, uh, also, we've got our scanners and we've got our repair tool. We haven't built our habitat yet um, or our habitat module. And the thing we're missing for our ha habitat module yeah, is very much our silver that we need for our wiring kit. So let's uh, let's go over to um, uh, Life Pod Three. So I'm going to take a little bit of this titanium. We are going to put some of the more expensive materials in here, um, and we're going to drop these on the ground as we did last time. But what I'm actually going to do is just show you now the the second way to make the water. And this is, when we scroll up, uh, this is the disinfected water that uses bleach. Bleach requires one salt deposit, deposit and one coral to tube sample. I'll get it out. And that actually makes two disinfected waters. So we've actually got two salt and we've got two coral tube samples. So that should give us four waters which will get us well on track. So disinfected water needs bleach. So we go up to the top, we can now see the bleach. So we'll make the bleach. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. There we go. Then we jump in and we'll make our water. So let's make uh, two of those. Preparing a deep water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. That is so true. So to start off with, we can drink, and we're just gonna drink these small ones first. Um, we'll place the other water in here. I always take with me sort of a water, uh, food, and uh, a first aid kit uh, when I travel. Um, and that just means that if I'm out and I'm actually exploring and I'm happy with what I'm seeing, um, I don't need to uh, race back in a uh, in a hurry so let's just place the rest of this titanium on the ground in our little hidey hole down here look at that look at all that titanium just sitting there which is we will definitely use it um, let's just drop the rest of these because we're going to be picking up some more let's grab our sea glide and head towards life pod four all right we'll keep on going life pod three keep going and I'll be back as we come up to Life Pod 3. Okay, welcome back. And just as we come over this edge, we see Life Pod 3 here sitting in the uh, the shallows of around about 13 meters. So before we go in and actually explore here, we're just gonna poke our head, head up. Remember the error is also a critical mass. So the main thing is what do we have around Life Pod 3? So each of the Life Pods um, or as I said in the past, missions. Um, they've, uh, they're there because they're actually also um, uh, telling you something when we come through. And there's a little thing here saying, cut cream, creep vine with a, with a knife. So we'll just crack one sample. And we've got ourselves. 
let's have a look at what that new blueprint was. Ah, a dive reel. Obviously very handy for when we're going inside. Inside wrecks. And that was nice to see that we're finding silver out this way. So, first of all, let's go inside and see what LifePod 3 has to offer us. First of all, there's a PDA. And we got a data box. And we found a compass. Important thing to note, the LifePod itself, as much as it may give you something, it's not the critical reason why you go to the life pod. So each of the life pods will have something around it that you need to uh, explore um, and continue. So mobile vehicle bay. Gold. Let's just go up and get a little bit more uh, option, but we'll just, like I said here, it will show you what we're sort of saying. So now we can swap it, and we've got a full tank. It's easy to demonstrate that. The important note is when you get to the surface, you have to swap it again to make sure you fill both cylinders before you go back under. So it will only fill the cylinder that's on your back. Hmm, what do we got here? It's looking pretty deep. Bring you want to scan everything you you see, whether it's stationary or whether it's moving, because like the uh, the creep vine, it can give you um, important uh, blueprints. which is, in this case, what they're talking about in regards to the real line. The real line will allow you to go into the cave, like a normal cave diver. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T-10, 9, All right. Eight, seven, Not probably where I want to be, but let's have a look. And you can feel that or hear that radiation coming in so we also got another map and that was the radiation suit so the radiation suit is fiber mesh and lead fiber mesh is made through your creep vine and we got the lead from finding it into the hole so we need another creep vine just so happens we're here at the right time um, and that is life pod three. So now let's just fill up our supplies. We want to get some more lead, um, which we've been finding in these caves. We definitely want to get some more silver. We've found a great amount of silver, which is going to help us for those materials such as the habitat builder. And this will get us well on track um, for, uh, for the next lot of missions. So we're just going to go and farm in a level of safety because we don't have that dive reel. And the ones we're looking for, for silver and so forth. Alright. Is 
So that one is a tough fish because what happens is it hypnotizes you and if you're low on oxygen, you can... All right, so you see it's got a little bit of a bite. Um, those creatures are not everywhere, um, but they are frustrating. So just so we don't get hit by another one, we're going to take uh, our first aid. Um, we'll have to grab some fish on the way back. Okay, we're back. So we'll make the second fiber mesh. We will make our radiation suit, which will allow us to now do the next part, which is actually exploring the uh, aura, aura. So with the radiation suit, we are going to um, swap it over. There we are. So there's our, our radiation suit and our radiation helmet and that will just uh, protect us. All right, so we're full of food and health. Let's just um, see what we've got. So we've got our high uh, capacity oxygen tank. We've got our radi radiation suit um, and we will build our rebreather a little bit later on as we start exploring more. Um, the next thing we really want to build is our habitat builder so we can actually start living outside of the uh, the life pod. Um, so a habitat builder is going to be uh, your wiring kit. Your wiring kit is two silver. Your computer chip is your copper wire, your gold and your table coral. Um, so we found our silver so we can actually make our uh, hab habitat builder. But uh, let's go actually, we'll build our habitat builder and then we'll actually listen to the next radio message. Our wiring kit. And we just need two table coral, which I think we've collected some here. Two table coral. So our habitat builder was, and a battery, and the battery, I missed that one, copper ore and two acid mushrooms. So we'll just quickly get two acid mushrooms and we'll be back. Okay, now we can build our battery. Now batteries are also super handy in the early games to, to make sure. So for instance, obviously all your tools use the battery, your sea glider uses the battery, so it's very handy. Um, let's just have a look at our, uh, our kit here. Um, a copper, I'm actually gonna get two more acid mushrooms to build myself another battery. Um, and it means that I'm just always got some a spare battery that if I'm in the middle of exploring and I run out of power, I run out of power on something, um, then I've got a spare battery to quickly change things over to. So there's my spare battery. Um, now let's build that tool, which is our habitat builder. And this is an extreme, uh, extremely vital tool. So by right clicking, 
it now allows the building of, of habitation uh, modules um, and rooms. You can build obviously your solar panels, you can build everything that you need uh, to actually survive and as you can see your trash, trash can is in there. The blueprint we need to find is the multi-purpose room uh, so we can actually start the, the building of our, our habitat module. To start off with, as you can see, the only thing we can build um, is tubes and the tubes aren't going to uh, allow us to, to live or sustain life uh, anything at uh, this stage, but there are some workarounds we can actually use with those those tubes. All right, let's put that away. Let's listen to our next message. All right, so there's our next uh, our next life pod. So if we go to our ping, we can now see life pod 17. So I can turn this off, which will just allow life pod 17. And if we scan around, we will see that life pod 17 is 500 meters away, in the opposite direction to the the aura. So we're moving away, we're moving into deeper waters, but it's about 500 meters in that direction. And we've got another message. So let's listen to the next message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. These old terror ships, they run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long-range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn Charter's going to have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Okay, he seemed a little bit narky. Okay, so let's... Uh... Let's have a look at what we've got. Um, let's head over to Life Pod 17. We'll do it the easy way. You can see the patchy's 52%, just with those uh, couple little swims that I've done. So you just want your backup battery. So whilst we're heading out to, to Life Pod 17, and you can always use the Life Pods as, as reference marks, reference. You just want to check out um, on the ground for uh, things like wrecks, boxes like this to see if there's anything inside. Here we are, Life Pod 17. Okay, so once again, let's jump in. Let's have a look at the uh, the PDA. There's nothing really. Once again, this is just a mark of what we've got. So LifePod 17 gives us two items. First of all, you have the the components to your CMOS bioreactor very vital um, components. Oxygen. So we're starting with the laser cutter, the mobile vehicle bay, and the sea moth. Uh, and then the last one was the uh, multi-purpose room, which we need components. And then the bioreactor. So we've actually got the bioreactor, which is one way to actually um, produce electricity into your habitat module.
All right, so welcome to LifePod 17. LifePod 17 gives us two great opportunities. We've got a nice rack over here to explore that's gonna give us um, some good materials, tell us a little bit more, a good part of the Aurora. The second part of LifePod 17 is gonna be this cave system here, so going down and exploring this cave. But we're gonna do that in the um, the next episode so thank you very much I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode which was um, focused around life pod 3 and the explosion of the aura um, stay tuned um, don't forget to leave a message uh, hit the likes and your subscribes and we'll see you in the next episode where we uh, then go after life pod 17 All right thank you very much